everyone, it's Norma, and I am here to do a different type of video. I am doing a collection video. Now, if you've been following me um, on my channel for years, I know several of you have asked me to do a collection video. And one time I did attempt it, and frankly, I had to abandon the attempt because it was simply exhausting. It took me literally an entire morning to drag out my candles and I didn't even have all of them out. And at that time, I was just really collecting Yankee. I might have had a handful of Bath and Body Works candles, but for the most part, at that time, it was my Yankee candle collection. And I gave up. I had candles all over the living room. I couldn't walk. It was just exhausting to put everything back. It was like there was just no way. And I said, never again. I will never do it again. I will never do a collection video again. You know, unlike some of you who have, you know, really large houses or basements, you have great storage space where you can put up shelving and you can have all your candles neatly on the shelf. And all you basically have to do is walk up and take your camera and show what you got. I don't have that. I live in a small condo. Space is always at a premium. And I stash my stuff wherever I can find a space, basically. You know, my goal is to try to get more organized. As many of you know, I am on a wax band this year. So um, I'm just trying to use up what I have and, you know, make space to have some empty shelving maybe one day and get things organized. Um, so I'm telling you right now, don't ask me for another candle collection video because it's not going to happen. I am making an exception this time because what I am showing you is my Henry Bendel candle collection. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably know by now that Henry Bendel has closed its doors. Um, rather suddenly and surprisingly, uh, the last store was supposed to close yesterday, January 19th, and I guess there were some that were open, but the flagship actually closed early. It closed on January 17th, and the website abruptly shut down the next day on Friday, January 18th at noon. And I'm a little bit upset about that because there were a few more things I was thinking about getting and I didn't know it was shutting down and I had things to do. I was actually driving and uh, yeah, a little bit sad about missing that. But I thought this was a good time to go through my collection, see what I have, do a video just kind of for, you know, old times sake, old lang syne. And I'm really wishing I had done this a little bit earlier. Um, actually, I wish I'd done this when they first announced that they were closing in September 2018 and before they did Candle Day in November. I wasn't thinking about candles, to tell you the truth, because I knew I had a, a large collection and I really thought I had stocked up on all my favorites. I was wrong. Um, I'm a little horrified to find <laughs> that... Um, I don't have some candles here and some of my favorites I only have one of. Um, for instance, I don't have I don't see any lavender leaves. Um, I only have see one lemon verbena, I see one peony, only a couple fig. Uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit uh, upset with myself that I didn't really do an inventory before this. I just assumed I had plenty of everything. So when candle day came around this year, all I really bought was um, the Bendelirius candle. So I have more candles than this. I'm going to do the video in two parts. This is my signature collection. And I'm just going to go through the candles that I have in my signature collection. And then part two will be my specialty candle collection. And, uh, yeah, maybe I have some stashed away in some hidden spot that I forgot about. But I think this is it, people. So I'm going to start with the ones that I have the, the lesser amounts of. And so I'm going to start with cedar. And this is kind of a, more of a masculine scent. It's a fragrant fusion of rich cedar wood, Turkish rose, and smoky incense. Recalls a visit to a bustling spice bazaar filled with vibrant sights and scents. Let the layers of this exotic drama excite your senses and transport you to a dreamlike destination. I actually really like this one. Um, I gave some as gifts last Christmas in 2017 to some of my male relatives. And uh, 
ironically, the guys liked it, the girls didn't. But I, I really like it, and uh, I only have two of these left. I thought I had more, but like I said, I had been giving them away as gifts. This is one that is fairly new. It came out, I think, a year ago, two years ago. This is Amber Noor. Wake up to the warm embrace of cinnamon and vanilla that will be a source of comfort through every long day. Notes of cedar wood and oak moss create an earthy undertone that flows effortlessly with the sweet scent of amber to create the perfect balance in your life. This fragrance will remind you of home wherever you go. Now, I, it doesn't say it in the description, but I remember in the original scent notes, this candle does have coconut in it, and it is almost a dupe for a candle from another company whose name I shall not mention. Those of you who are in my Facebook group know what I'm talking about. And they have a candle called Cozy Home, and this is basically a dupe for Cozy Home. It's just a beautiful, homey scent. Okay. I was surprised to find I had four of these in my stash. This is Autumn Noir. I thought I was down to the last one. And I know somebody who really likes this. Okay. Ready for weather that calls for cozying up? Autumn Noir sultry scent will leave your breathing easy and longing for a fall frolic. Apple cider, pomegranate, cedar, and warm musk stir your senses. Now, the last one I had that I actually burned was earlier this fall, and I couldn't really smell it, so I was a little bit disappointed. This one's an open box. I can read it better. Um, this one's been discontinued for a while, and to me, I don't really smell a lot of fruit. I don't really get the apple cider prom get. To me, it's more like a cedar musk scent, but it's... I had it in a diffuser as well. Man, those diffusers went fast. They, they weren't even around for candle day. I didn't even see those. Okay, and then this one was a really popular one, firewood. This one is definitely more masculine cologne type scent. It's one of the most comforting aromas imaginable is the scent of warm, smoky, aromatic logs gently burning in the fireplace. Fresh and rustic, cozy and romantic, the elusive scent of firewood is uniquely captured with a beautiful blend of birch, cedar, and sandalwood, sparked with rich undertones of vetiver and amber. Basically, to me, this smells kind of like a gentleman sitting by the fire because I do definitely get a masculine cologne scent mixed with the firewood. So I have just one of those. Next up is Lemon Verbena. This is one of the ones that I'm a little bit upset <laughs> that I don't have more of because I used to like to mix this with the lavender leaf, which I also don't have anymore. Um, unless, like I said, I have some hidden because as you guys know, one of my favorite candles from Yankee Candle is Lemon Lavender. And so by combining the Lemon Verbena and Lavender Leaves, I kind of recreated that scent. This is no other scent quite like there, oh, there is no other scent quite like that of the very fragrant citrusy lemon verbena. A native of South America, its aromatic leaves produce a cologne-type freshness with delicately, when delicately, I can't talk, when delicately crushed with fruity notes of papaya and bergamot and green woody notes of cedarwood and vetiver. Lemon verbena has a deliciously sunny quality reminiscent of a summer's walk through a Guatemalan garden. Well, that's a very fancy description. To me, it just smelled like lemon. I mean, it smelled like lemon verbena. I really didn't pick up all those other notes, but it's just a beautiful candle, and I'm sorry I don't have more. Oh, yeah. Quince. This is one I actually have not tried. This was one of my first um, candle purchases. I think it was on sale because it was being discontinued. A uh, note... A not-to-be-missed mix of freshly picked quince, sparkling grapefruit, and Granny Smith apples blend together to form a balanced fragrance sure to energize and renew. The notes of emerald moss and driftwood add dimension to this citrusy scent. So I think this is one I'll probably try burning maybe in the summer. And this is one, chai, I actually forgot I had, so I was surprised to see it. The perfect pick-me-up. 
Chai infuses your space with an exhilarating energy. Bergamot and blood orange give way to a spicy nutmeg, cardamom, clove, and cinnamon concoction that will be the envy of your usual afternoon ritual. So this one's open, so I'm going to give it a sniff. I know this one was available during the fall, and quite a few people in my group picked it up. Yeah, smells pretty good. I'll probably be sad I don't have more of these. Okay, we got to keep moving because there's a lot to go through. I was surprised I didn't have any more rose, although I do know, I think because I had so many Velvet Oud, which you'll see later, I didn't get a lot of the rose, but I thought I had more than one, but apparently not. This is a really strong candle, too. Add some romance to any room with a flirty and seductive scent of rose blossom. Notes of rose, geranium, and jasmine are blended with warm woods and crisp lemon, so you can get your fix of floral fragrances with this passionate pairing of aromas. Now, I have to say, one of the things I did like about the Henri Bendel candles is they did beautiful florals. And since I do like floral candles, I mean, it was just a natural match for Henry Bendel and me to meet because they really did really well with their florals. And I'm, like I said, I'm a little shocked I don't have uh, more. <laughs> um, I get, you know, it's like one of those things. It's like you figure they're always going to be around. And I kind of focused my shopping on buying candles and scents that were being discontinued and never really got around to buying and stocking up on some of the classics. So Rose is one of them. Um, I did get Dark Rose. I had two of these. I burnt one. It was like a meh for me. Um, that's not it. Wrap yourself in the seductive embrace of rose, cedarwood, and vetiver. Perfect for a dimly lit romantic evening. Hints of bergamot and oud will fill your home with sweetness and passion. Pungent and slightly sweet. You'll be in the mood for an evening sipping wine by the fire. Now, I got dark rose right after. They came out with this right after they discontinued Velvet Oud. And I was hoping it was going to be kind of like either a reincarnation or an improved version or something similar to um, Velvet Oud. But, you know, it's just, to me, it was, it was just blah. It wasn't rose. It wasn't velvet oud. There was nothing special about it. And on top of it, I found it very light. So I may be burning that one uh, soon. Because I plan on burning a bunch of rose candles probably in February. Silver birch. This was a beautiful one for the holidays. You know, it's... Uh, you know, like the Christmas tree type of pine scent. Capture the quiet allure of snow-capped hills with delicate notes of cedar leaf, fir needles, ivy, and blue spruce. Perfect for an afternoon spent fireside, the warm notes of sandalwood and musk evoke on an enchanted alpine forest. This reminds me a lot of Kringle Candles Christmas, which you guys know is like my favorite candle from Kringle Candle. Um, this, I think, is very similar, the Silver Birch. And one of the um, addition candles that came out this fall was, I think, a dupe of this. I can't remember which one it was. Was it uh, Winter New York, I think, might have been the one? Um, I can't remember. One of them was basically the same as Silver Birch. Okay, this is a new-to-me candle. I haven't burnt this one. And I bought it specifically as a keepsake. This was my last candle day purchase from Henry Bendel, Bendelirius. I was thrilled the store still had some left because it had sold out online. And I'm wishing now I'd bought all of them. Um, okay, I don't know if I can read this. Calling all Bendel girls. Bendelirius is the newest addition. Wait, is the newest addition the Henry Bell, Henry Bendel, oh, they're, they're missing a word. Calling all Bendel girls. Bendelirius is the new addition to the Henry Bendel Home Fragrance Collection. Bring the sweet and citrusy scent into your everyday with notes of lemon zest, rose, and jasmine. This evocative scent is one you won't ever want to run out of. Which, like I said, I'm wishing I had bought more. Um, 
This was $35. Now, all these signature candles, the ones that I bought that you see here, were originally $35. Of course, I bought them on sale, people. Um, they did lower the price of their candles down to $30 this year, but uh, they originally sold for $35, and that's what I, um, the ones that I bought retailed for. Bentelirius is just a sweet, girly floral. I liked it better than I thought, um, which is why, like I said, I... I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> like, not, no, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm just kind of wishing I'd bought what my store had left because I think at the time they only had six. So that wouldn't have broken the bank. Um, Peony. I love this scent, and I'm sad this is the only one I have here. With its huge blooms and heady, intoxicating scent, the peony is often called the queen of the garden. It is celebrated in North America and around the world, from Indiana to China. Here, the indelible fragrance of the peony is blended with white peach, night-blooming jasmine, fresh orange, and rose musk. This is beautiful. People, this is beautiful. Um, you know, peony candles are very similar to rose-scented candles, except I find that they're a little bit lighter, softer, a little bit sweeter. Um, and I really preferred the peony over the rose, because the rose was like so strong and so heavy. I mean, it could choke you out. I would always have to have a window open when I burned it. Um, and the peony was very similar, but it didn't do that. It was just, it was still a strong throwing candle, but it was just softer and lighter, a little bit sweeter, lovely candle. This is tuberose. This is one I never got around to burning, so I never got around to getting more. Um, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful though. Because I, I do remember smelling it, all these candles on cold. Tuberose is one of the oldest flowers to have been cultivated purely for its fragrance and cannot be found growing wild anywhere in the world. Treasured globally for its exotic and famously intoxicating scent, it becomes so unforgettable when blended with notes of freshest peach, sweet yang yang, and warm woods. From what I can recall, I think it was similar to like a rose scent, but I can't recall specifically and it's wrapped up so I can't smell it okay so moving on fig inspired by the legendary fruit of the Greek islands fig is juicy indulgent and richly aromatic combining the scent of the sun ripened fruit with that of its woody leaves with a hint of sweet jasmine spicy anise and sensual sandalwood it evokes a hot summer's day resting under the cool shade of the sacred tree this is one of their most popular scents, and I can see why. It's it, to me, it's like a fresh green scent. It's not a, it's not a foody scent or bakery scent. Like when you think of fig, it's not like fig Newtons. To me, it was just fresh and green. And I think I might have done a review on this. I did do reviews on many of these candles, not all of them, but a lot of them I did. Okay, so I'm going to pause right here, clear these out of the way so we can go to the back row. Okay, so now these were some of my very favorites, and these are ones that obviously I stocked, stocked up on. So I'm going to start with cashmere. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 cashmere. Um, I did have more at one time, but I, I burned them. I burn probably once every other two months, and plus I gave several away as gifts this past Christmas and I think the last two couple Christmases. So at one time I had probably about three dozen. Now there's two different packaging. You guys may remember. This is the original packaging if you bought it off the website. And this is the Victoria's Secrets version that they came out during the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale a couple years ago. They were selling these for five dollars. Five dollars. So that was an amazing deal. We were all running into Victoria's Secrets buying these candles up. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent and I don't regret a single one. <laughs> Slip into something a little bit more comfortable with the cozy scent of cashmere. Wrap your room in the soft, luxurious scent of cedarwood blended with bursts of violet and lily of the valley. The Henry Bendel Home Fragrance Collection, blah, 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 blah. Okay, is there something else? 
with the notes. Let me see. Let me check the original one. Um, yeah, so the description is different. Bundle up. It's time to wrap yourself in our coziest cashmere. While summer days have slowly come to a close, reminisce about the warmth with our newest cashmere signature candle. Let the scent of cedarwood linger in the air, blending with subtle bursts of violet and lily of the valley. This is just a beautiful, beautiful bedroom scented type candle. It's definitely a, a favorite with the ladies. I know even some of the guys in my group like this one. It's just beautiful upscale. It's floral, but not too florally. It's just gorgeous. One of my favorites. Okay. Vanilla bean. This is not a food candle. This is not a bakery candle. This is basically a vanilla sandalwood blend. The Spanish conquistadors encountered the vanilla bean in Mexico, where it was used as a highly prized flavoring, intoxicating, exotic, and warm. The highly aromatic vanilla bean is actually the edible fruit of one special type of orchid. Blended with warm patchouli and sweet jasmine, vanilla bean is captivating and exquisitely sensual. This is another really good one. It's another favorite of a lot of people. If you guys like this candle and you don't have any, you can't find any, you don't want to pay crazy prices on eBay, there are some candles out there that are similar to this. Uh, Veluspa has a candle called um, Bourbon Vanelli, which is very similar, almost a straight on dupe. Bath and Body Works has, um, they came out with a candle called uh, Vanilla Patchouli that is very, very similar to this. And they had another one that was similar that was out in the fall, Vanilla something. Um, so if this is one of your favorites, don't despair. There are other candles that are similar to this. Like I said, it's basically like a vanilla sandalwood patchouli type blend. So if you see candles that have vanilla sandalwood patchouli, those notes, um, give it a shot. Okay, amber. I have quite a few of these. How many vanilla beans I have? One, two, three, six. I have only, no, not six, five. I have five vanilla beans, which I wish I kind of had more. But like I said, I know I can get that scent um, with the Veluspa bourbon vanilla for sure. Uh, amber. This is one that I went crazy about and it was being discontinued. And the majority of these I got from a store in California and had them ship them to me because they were sold out on the website. My store didn't have them. And I had to have the scent. It reminds me a lot of uh, Yves Saint Laurent opium. It's a perfume I used to wear a lot. I don't wear it too much anymore because it's definitely an evening <laughs> perfume and I just don't go out anymore at night. I'm, you know, I'm getting old. I don't like to go out at night. But uh, this candle reminds me so much of that, that scent, opium. Not an exact 100% dupe, but it's definitely in the same family. It has been said that the secret of life can be found inside a true piece of amber. This exotic fragrance of the Orient is, in fact, an intricate blend of three special types of amber, golden, sweet, and white. Golden, sweet, and white. Rich and sensual, its aromatic glow is enhanced by the sweetness of jasmine and white, white rose. And I love it. It's definitely in that oriental spicy blend of scents with, you know, like the hint maybe of incense. Okay, down to the last two, gardenia. So amber, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. That's the one I have the most of. Uh, gardenia, I love this one too. This is probably my favorite floral from Henry Bendel. So I'm glad I have some of these. I have one, two, eight. The da da da. That's not it. Native to China and Japan, the famously sweet gardenia is a refined white flower of great beauty, often an inspiration for the finest perfumes. Our opulent version enhances the natural qualities of gardenia with a dynamic blend of lemon blossom, sandalwood, cream, neroli, and white cedar, resulting in a creamy and lush fragrance. I absolutely adore this candle. Gardin I've loved like, gardenia since I was a little girl. We never grew up with gardenia, so they would, you know, I could only find them in like the greenhouses. My mom was a great gardener. And, you know, you go to a greenhouse in the wintertime and you smell the gardenia. It was just, like, magical to me. I absolutely love gardenia. 
And this is, to me, a true gardenia. The only gardenia that I have smelled that was close to this, Kringle Candle used to have a gardenia candle. Um, it's been discontinued for several years. I wish they would bring it back, especially now that this is gone. Um, so, yeah, beautiful. If you love gardenia, this is just gorgeous. So I hope Kringle Candle brings back their version of it. <sighs> you know... You think things are never going to change, but they do, right? Okay, Velvet Oud, another favorite. I mentioned this um, a little bit earlier. It's basically like a rose raspberry scent. Elegant, enchanting, and exotic, Velvet Oud is a spicy scent that provides warmth and sweetness. A woody blend of clove, rose, and raspberry mixed with sandalwood to add to the passionate blend of aromas. Enjoy a moment of solitude as the soft scent fills your home. This is a home filler. This is a strong candle. It's probably one of their strongest candles um, that I've tried other than the rose. And this is a rose-based scent. Love this scent. It was discontinued a couple years ago, but it kept periodically popping up on the website. I know as early as um, this fall, it showed up, but then it disappeared again. So I have how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen. 1920. Okay, so this is going to be a long video, um, but what I have next to show you is, you know, not quite as big as this, so it shouldn't take too much longer because I know we're at the half hour mark almost. So I'm going to clear these out and then bring out my specialty candles. I'm back. Whew. I'm telling you, this is a workout going back and forth, putting candles back here and there and, you know, lifting and walking and lifting and walking. I feel like I've been to the gym and all I've been doing is showing you my candle collection, which is why I won't ever do another one. It's a lot of work. I'm out of breath. So these are my specialty candles. Um, this should go fairly quickly because I've already read you the scent descriptions for these big ones that you see. At one point, Henry Bendel did carry large three-wick candles, and they were packaged in a hat box. And then about three years ago, maybe four years ago, they went on clearance, and they retailed for, I believe, 75 and I bought these for, uh, I think it was 50% off or 60% off. So I paid, I think, 30 maybe 35 for each of them. Right now, I saw one of these selling on eBay for $500. Yep, $500, people. So if I sold each one of these for $500, I'd have $1,000, $2,000, $2,500 right there. <sighs> I could pay for my uh, closing haul, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Don't pay $500 for a candle that retailed for 75 people. Don't do it. Um, it's wax. Scented wax. Okay, so, but I really like these because um, once, you know, they're spectacular. The presentation is great, but they also throw really well, you know, because some of the signature candles aren't as strong throwers as others. Uh, Velvet Oud strong, Rose strong, uh, I've had pretty good luck with fig, gardenia, but some of them, you know, not, they're, they're lighter, which is fine. Everybody likes different scented candles, but these throw really nice, and um, I read you all the scent descriptions except for one. I did find a lavender leaf, so I was so excited about that, um, but this is what they looked like. They came in a large frosted berry glass, you know, basically the same look as the signature candles except they're larger and with the three wicks, and they came packaged in these hat boxes. So I did find one lavender leaves. I don't know if they have the scent description. Yeah, but yep, they do. So every, each summer in Provence, fields and fields of soft purple lavender yield a fragrant harvest, which has long been considered one of the most desirable scents in classic European perfumery. Its delicate flower has lent its name to a color, and the fragrance from the leaf is fresh, green, and floral. Together with notes of sage, bergamot, rose, and tea, this sun-drenched scent is clean and purifying. And I'm really glad I found one of these because I love lavender. It's actually taped, so I'm not going to open it. I love lavender, and I'm really sad I don't have more of these in my collection. Then I have gardenia, peony, vanilla bean, and then I found one that's still wrapped. So it's still wrapped in the Henry Bendel paper. They're even selling tissue paper, paper on eBay. The envelopes, the boxes, it's crazy. It's crazy nuts. So I'm really hoping this is a lavender leaves. 
Um, I'm not going to unwrap it all the way. I'm going to see if I can just peel away the bottom because I do have a sticker. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's vanilla bean. So I have another vanilla bean. Um, yeah, I wish it was another lavender leaf, but that's okay. I don't have a lot of vanilla bean anyway. So there you go. Those are my hat box candles. So I have two cents, oh, no, three cents remaining. Um, I didn't think I had any of these home candles left, but I found this one, vanilla sandalwood. And it's partially burned. I don't keep partially burned candles around, so I'm not quite sure why I kept this one. Maybe because it was my last. Um, maybe it was when I reviewed. This definitely, it's a, it's a vanilla sandalwood scent, but there's definitely rose in here. You can definitely pick up the rose. So it's not a straight vanilla sandalwood like your vanilla bean. Your vanilla bean is more of a vanilla sandalwood patchouli type blend, and this definitely has a rose note to it. Okay, and last but not least, I have Sweet 712 and Rhubarb and Balsam. I was, I found, I thought I only had four Sweet 712s in the three wick. I was ecstatic to find uh, that I actually have five. So that is good. And the scent description on this is, it all began in 1895. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll save this one for last. It'll be a nice closing. So before I go to Sweet 712, I'll talk about rhubarb and balsam. Um, I have one, two, three, four, six rhubarb and balsam, but I actually have eight because Balsam Hideaway, which came out this holiday season, is a dupe for rhubarb and balsam. It's the same candle. They have exactly the same scent notes I checked. And I, these candles don't have the notes on them, but I did do a in-depth review of rhubarb and balsam a few years ago, so you can check out the video for that. This was actually the very last candle I purchased from Henry Bendel. It was my very last, no, last visit or second to last. I think it was my last visit to the store. They were actually pulling out all the drawers, clearing out everything. And uh, they opened up a drawer and found these candles. There was about six. I bought three of them. I burnt one just to confirm it's the same, and it is. And the others were literally like snatched up while I was standing in line. So um, yeah, this was my very last purchase from the actual store. Uh, so these don't have the scent notes on them, so I can read it, but it's basically a rhubarb grapefruit type scent. It says balsam, but if you're expecting a Christmas tree scent, you're going to be really disappointed. It doesn't smell like Christmas tree. It's more of a tart rhubarb grapefruit type scent candle. Okay. And last but not least, Sweet 712. I have five of the three wicks, and then I have seven of the votives. I was thrilled to death to be able to find three of these votive scents um, during one of my last visits. I think it was Candle Day. Did I get these on Candle Day? I think so. Um, which is why I didn't go crazy buying the Bendelirius candle or some other candles, because when I saw these, I, was, I had to have them. So this is just a partial one. But these votives are so strong. If you guys like this scent um, and you have the votives, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, one of these votives is about as strong as a three wick. I mean, one of these can fill my bedroom. And so I'm thrilled to death that I have seven of these, well, six votive sets plus one, because uh, it's almost like having, an, you know, each one of those is like an individual candle, because there's three in a box. So. It's wonderful, and I have five of the three wicks, so let's end by reading you the description for Sweet 712. It all began in 1895 when Henry Bendel opened his first store in Greenwich Village, New York. A man known for his infallible taste, he quickly became a leading tastemaker and courtier in the fashion elite. His Manhattan boutique became a beacon of luxury and style. In 1907, he created and trademarked the now legendary brown and white striped hat box and shopping bag. A true fashion pioneer, Bendel was the first luxury retailer to move his store to Fifth Avenue and one of the first American designers to launch a signature perfume in 1915 called Un Poder. I'm not sure how to say that. A century later, inspired by its legendary address and landmark townhouse at 712 Fifth Avenue, 
Henry Bendel, New York, introduces the sweet 712 Eau de Perfume scented candle. The fragrance elegantly embodies iconic New York sophisticated affluence and understated extravagance. Its scent, distinctive and sexy, encompasses floral and woody notes, a bergamot, mandarin blossoms, freesia, sandalwood, and suede. More than homage, it is a celebration. Sweet 712 pays tribute to the brand's rich heritage and to generations of Bendel girls. And now that generation of Bendel girls is going to die with us because Henry Bendel is no more. Um, yeah, it's very sad. So there you guys have it. That is my personal collection. These are not for sale. These are my favorite candles that I stocked up on, so I'm not parting ways with them unless I am gifting them to beloved friends and family. So there you guys have it. That is my Henry Bendel candle collection. If you guys like this video, please...